This is Adam, and Adam is an accountant. He's actually a very good accountant. He was top of his class at the university, and now he is the top performing accountant for the last three years in a row. Adam really loves his job, and he loves coming to work every single day. And this is Amelia. She's Adam's boss, and she is so excited because it's review time, and she gets to tell Adam that he is being promoted. Wow, Adam is so excited. He gets to be the accounting supervisor. What an honor. Pretty soon, though, Adam realizes that he's spending a lot of his time dealing with the people on his team and their problems. Or he's running from meeting to meeting and he doesn't even have time to grab a cup of coffee in between. He's spending all of his time managing the team and none of his time doing the accounting that he loves. Adam isn't so happy anymore. Adam gets really frustrated and he asks for management training. And Amelia gets frustrated too because Adam is the best accountant they have. What more training could he possibly need? And because of this, Adam finally gets so frustrated that he turns in his resignation and walks out the door. Unfortunately, Adam's story might sound familiar because inadequate or non-existent training for new managers is a common cause of organizational inflammation.